What it do, what it is, how we doing, NASCAR Nation. Welcome to the NASCAR Daily on a beautiful Thursday here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Your boy, Mobba Smith, back in the hot seat. And you know, on my day, I like to call up the homies and get to chatting with some of the people in the industry. And this week, we got Raja Karuth on the hotline. Raj, my boy, my brother, thank you for taking some time. I know you're about to uh, fly out to to Texas. What before I want to before I get into some you know life stuff? How do you feel about Texas? Uh, it's a really fast track for the trucks. How do you feel going into the weekend? Yeah, I, I got definitely have a pep in my step for sure going into Texas. Uh, Mom, I mean for us, we've we've had a good last string of races. You know, four four top tens and top five and. Mm-hmm. Um, def- and you've been grinding those out. Those have been yeah. grinding out finishes for sure. I think compared to last year, like we were just faster as a company last season, and yeah, uh, in, in 2025 we were kind of not started off on the foot that we needed to. So we're slowly getting back to where we were at the start of last season. And I think uh, we're. I would say we would use the mantra of not. We're not necessarily back. We're better and getting to be yeah. Better. So feel good about Texas and this next string of six races should be good for us. This is probably the first time that you've, like, the company has been good the whole time you've been there. Obviously, you got Spire Motorsports still really good, but um, you know, speed has been a little bit lacking. I would say for the for the whole company as far as the truck side goes. So, what's it been like trying to find that? You know, trying to take a more leadership role now that you're kind of stepping into being a vet. Now yeah, for point. sure, for sure. I think it's it's a balance, right? Because I, I know the. There's, you know, there's so many different uh, cooks in the kitchen. There's so many mm-hmm. pieces of the puzzle, right? Compared to other, uh, you know, Xfinity and Cub, right? Our bodies are still being, you know, made and not single source parts. The engines are, are it's a spec engine, so that kind of changes things. But the mm-hmm. bodies is the biggest difference at the end of the day. And so um, that's where the teams kind of make a difference. I think Brad Mean said it on the download a couple of days ago. It's the last frontier for, for NASCAR <laughs> innovation, right? It's the last series you can massage on the bodies and um, kind of have your own different flair to it. So um, with that being said, just trusting in my team, trusting in um, my 71 group, but also uh, our fab shop, our manufacturing building, Jerry Painter that does our bodies and uh, just listen to everybody and, and putting my input as to where it sees fit. And, you know, hopefully it's, uh, it kind of pulls in the right direction. We kind of see the fruits of our labor uh, start to get rewarded this weekend. Yeah, you talk about you know the all the cooks in the kitchen, the and the pieces to the puzzle. Obviously, a major piece to your puzzle is uh, HendrickCars.com and what that whole group does. And Mister H, and I'd be remiss not to mention our our good friend John Edwards, uh, rest his soul, man. Um, I saw you at the at the the day of celebration for him as well. When you think about the Hendrick side of your program. How big has that been for you? Uh, I know being able to tap into guys like William Byron, Kyle Larson, you know, Jeff Gordon, like that, that is a massive uh, advantage that you have over a lot of other people. For sure. I think it's uh, it's truly a, a blessing, I think, to have any sort of involvement with, with motorsport, but also the automotive group and getting to know the individuals at those teams. I think it's cool to see. Alex and Kyle there at the tech center. We're both in the program. We're all in the program with Josh Wise and, and GM. And I think also, like you said, you know, whether it's reaching out to JG or, or Chad or anybody over there at HMS, it's, it's awesome. They always welcome me with open arms. And um, they really just, they gave me that shot in 2023 when their oval program was first really getting going in the 17. Mm-hmm. Um, that really parlayed into getting the support this year at Spire. And, and I'm just super thankful to have received that. And, Hope to get some more wins uh, with the with the Hendrick Cars Silverado for sure. Um, yep. I know that'll come. Yeah, for sure. We're looking forward to seeing you make a deep run in the in this year's playoffs um, and go fight for that championship. Uh, I want. I need to. I need to bring up. I, I'm sorry. I'm laughing before I even get it out. Oh, no. Your dad, yeah, Roger, is like. He's like for those of you guys that don't know, Raj's dad, Roger, when he walks. My man's feet don't touch the ground. Like, he floats. Like, he's, like, the uncle that you wish you had. Like, whenever he speaks, you just feel like he's giving you some knowledge. What, what's it been like having your dad? Because you guys have both had to learn the space because he's yeah. learning the business side as well, trying to, you know, make sure you guys are steered in the right direction. Yeah. Thank you for, for asking that. My dad's awesome. Um, and he's I like him 
especially compared to a lot of different like parents in racing because typically when you have a parent in racing they're super helicoptery super hands-on mm-hmm. and that's almost always not the best uh approach i think because it doesn't allow the 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 guy or gal to kind of spread their wings grow their and roots, kind of grow I think yeah grow on their own versus having yeah. kind of being hovered hovered over your shoulder and really my dad has just been supporting me and uh helping provide me with the the skills and the information i need to to be able to uh go in these environments and provide for myself and and you know with him managing my business stuff and everything it's been great we've just kept it in the family and not really needed to outsource much so far so um there will come a time for that for sure but it's been great just to have my dad um with me because at the end of the day he has my best interest so i'm super super grateful for that yeah absolutely man i Come, were you coming from D.C., me coming from Vermont, like there's not an abundance of racing where we both grew up. So I think that's one thing me and you have always been able to connect on and trying to figure out the next steps. And, you know, I've admired, you know, you, LeVar, it, for me and Bubba, I don't want to speak for Bubba, but I know when we look at you guys, it's like, OK, they're coming. They're coming. You know what I mean? So watching you guys grow has been has been really great um, from our end as I don't know. I'm not going to say big brothers, but at least like cousins, you know what I mean? Yeah. In the fam, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Try to keep, uh, y'all try to keep us in, 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 in order, you know, especially, uh, it's nice because it's really cool to see kind of you and Bubba, uh, and then LeVar and I, I mean, we're closer in age and like, I mean, he comes over here a lot, hops on my rig and I'm watching his races. He's on my pit box, listening to the radio for the truck races. And it's cool to kind of just see the relationship that we've all, uh, all built. Yeah, that's beautiful, brother. That's beautiful. Let me let me ask you too. You guys have been launching a lot of stuff with the E NASCAR. Uh, your Twitch stuff has really been popping off. What has that been like? Um, just for folks that don't know what's been going on, can you explain kind of the program a little bit? Yeah, so we just started. Uh, well, we rolled it out last year. Uh, the racing with Roger program through Microsoft iRacing and GM, and basically it's really an entry level uh, curriculum that um, gives a basic introduction to racing for men for 13 16 year olds that don't really know much about the sport and can get involved uh not just from a driving side of things whether it's engineering marketing uh obviously just using the uh the stem of it right and, and stem mm-hmm. a big place in our sport with our simulation our preparation um all the engineering that we do to prepare for the racetrack and so that's really the goal of that program is just to expose the youth to uh that form of, of driving and uh, or that world of, of motorsport that we're in um, yep. it's because there's so many different opportunities out there. So that that's really the goal with that. And it's been great to start with, with our first invitation on iRacing last week. That was a great event. And hopefully we'll continue to expose kids, bring them to the racetrack, whether it's from boys and girls clubs or public school systems, really, you name it. We're I, and I believe Charlotte for our next uh, pop up with that program. So. Nice. About that'd be great man that's that's one thing that i always like to remind people it's uh you got to expose kids early because especially to cars because it's not the same right back in the day when i was younger you know cars were all different i could tell a car brand by the headlights like now everything is a everything lot of the same the, yeah yeah no one really loves those body lines like they loved back in the day so you got to expose these kids early uh to to motorsports so i love that man that program looks like it's gonna be gonna be really great in the future let me ask you this my good friend raj what was your coming to the league moment like what was your moment where you're like oh wow yeah this isn't late model racing anymore we're we're in the national series um hmm, that's a good question i think oh that's, that's a great answer or oh, i have a great answer for that so my first xfinity race at richmond and um so let me preface this by saying, like, you know, I want to say, it. all right. So when you're a kid, right, you you watch it, Cup Xfinity truck racing, right? You see like right. guys that aren't in the best of cars, right? Whether they're running outside the top twenty, then it's like, ah, I mean, well, whatever, right? Yep. So my first Xfinity race is at Richmond with Alpha Prime Racing, mm-hmm. and um, qualified twenty uh, second, which is good for the car I was in, right? And, yeah, this is a perennial like top twenty like car. Yeah, where they live. Yeah, yeah, no, no engine program, no, you know, support from Big Brother. It's uh, just kind of super independent. And uh, we go to Richmond, and you know, I pass like Sheldon Creed, like all these different people in these good cars, right? And and here comes David Starr, twenty five laps in the run, just blows my doors off, just <laughs> running the bottom, and like running low in the front straight, the way that you can do at Richmond sometimes, just because of the tire wear. 
And Bobby Dodder's green SS green light car and just blows my doors off. He did it like two or three times that day. And I'm like, yo, all these people are good. Nobody <laughs> on the internet can ever say that like, well, maybe some people. Let me <laughs> let me not get myself in trouble. <laughs> like you, you, those guys that like drive for like Bobby Dodder, Alpha Prime, like these are some really good race car drivers like Jeremy Clements, Alex LeBay, like Jeb Burton, like they're, they're good. You know, some of them have gotten opportunities at um, the top level, um, whether it be mm-hmm. cup or, you know, in a JRM or colleague Xfinity car or Gibbs car. And some of them haven't. And, uh, but they're all good. You know, like, like guys like Josh Balicki, like them cats are all like really, really solid. And so I learned a lot through my years with Alpha Prime racing against those guys. And me and teammates was like Ryan Ellis, Brendan Poole, Jeffrey Earnhardt, um being around those guys i learned a lot a lot from them um stefan parsons you know stefan really well oh yeah i learned gotta love johnny bravo yeah for sure and really that experience in those cars helped elevate me to where i have been able to make most of uh this opportunity and and quality winning equipment you know in the truck series i love it man well thank you for your time i know you got stuff to do got to get ready for texas good luck this weekend you know i'm always pulling for that 7-1 so go get it done homie Appreciate you, Mamba, and uh, you guys watch the race this weekend. Thanks again to Raj for showing up for us on the NASCAR Daily. Don't forget, we got trucks, Xfinity, and Cup racing all weekend long from Texas Motor Speedway. That's it for your boy, Mamba. I appreciate y'all. Peace.